Hey guys, Frank Hava, experienceinvestor.com here. I'm once again standing in front of 5905 West Club Lane in Richmond, Virginia. Now we were here three days ago and the place was a disaster. I told you it was the 25% that need to be finished in those last three days. Well, guess what? We're one day away from going on the market. I wanted to bring you back to show you this house and show you the special sauce that we've done in the last 72 hours that's really gotten this place ready for market. Now we're gonna come back in another three days and show you what it looks like, finished product ready for market. But this is the, kind of the sneak preview. The other thing that's really important about this is this is the stuff they don't show you on TV. All the television shows, they kind of just skip ahead and they say, okay, 72 hours later, here's the finished product, but they never show you what happened in between. They just show you the fancy pictures and all the stuff on the wall. We showed you the ugly nitty gritty three days ago. Now we're gonna show it to you just about ready for market. And I wanna show you in between what we've done, what we've paid attention to, and in that, show you those little things that we talked about last time they are gonna help you maximize your profits. Last time what we talked about is how people park their car, get in the driveway and walk up to the front door. And what they start doing subconsciously is subtracting points in their head. If a house has too many demerits in somebody's head, they don't even wanna put in an offer because in the back of their mind, they're just like, ah, it's too much hassle, it's too much worth, it's not worth the price. It starts working against you. So the last 72 hours, what we've really focusing, focused in on is making it impactful the second they step out of the car. The other day, the grass was long, we've cut it. The other day, the mulch wasn't all in place, it's here. It didn't have a, a smell or an aroma of being new, it has that now. Not only that, we've got two fresh coats of paint on the front door, it's completely clean. Little miscellaneous stuff that wasn't done last time is. We've put another fresh coat of paint on the exterior of the house. Inside the house, when you walk in, it's staged now. Not only that, it smells really good. So when people walk in the front door, what they're gonna smell and see is new, fresh quality. And what that helps us with is that helps overcome any fears or concerns about a house that's almost 50 years old. And what else it does is it just starts planting in their brain really good thoughts about the home, the quality, and what that helps to do is number one, justify your sales price, get people excited, and then it helps drive the price up. So we're gonna walk in, I'll show you a couple other pictures. Okay, so we're in the kitchen now. If you compare and contrast what was here just 72 hours ago to now, there is a bunch of differences. Number one, it's completely clean. Number two, it's staged and decorated. Number three is everything is finished. Before, when you were here, there was blue tape everywhere. There was contractors running around, not anymore. Now it is a 100% finished product. That's really important because most people that are buying homes are awful at foreseeing what it's going to look like. They want to physically see it finished. The reason that people like me, national home builders, people selling high-end furniture, they have showrooms, okay? We don't have showrooms, but we have model homes or this particular home, which we get to model off. The reason that we do the staging and we make sure it's 100% complete is because we want people to mentally move themselves in. If people mentally move themselves in, what they're not doing is worrying about the price, worrying about a bunch of other miscellaneous things. What they're worrying about is, I could see myself cooking breakfast over here. I can see myself sitting here having food. I can see myself watching television. I can see my kids sleeping upstairs. We start planting those things in people's head. It costs us around $2,000 to stage this model. Not an in insignificant cost, but the reason that we did that is because it helps with the sale. With a home in this marketplace and this price, I think what's gonna happen is we're going to get many, many people interested. We're gonna price the house and because of the way that we finished it, I think we're gonna come in over sales price, over asking price, which is great because we're gonna drive the price up. And then not only that, we get to dictate the terms on who we want to buy it and how much we wanna take to sell it for. These are great positions to be in that you're not in if the house is on 100%. It's not priced right and people don't get excited about it. Okay, so this is probably a really weird place to be standing. I got the stairs going this way and I've got just like a wall behind me. But I'm here for a very specific reason. When you market a home for sale, it's imperative that you know who's gonna be buying it. And what I mean by that is this. If you are marketing to dual income, no kids, the way that you finish the house, 
the way that the people are going to live in the home and the way that you finish it is going to be completely different than if it's empty nesters. An empty nester is someone who's raised kids, now they're on their own. They're probably a little bit older, they don't want to deal with steps. So that's going to be a very different type of a home than the home that we built here, which is for a family. Almost certainly, the buyer here is going to be a family. One to three kids, this is what the math tells us and the studies around, um, dual learners are in the home. So what we've done is we've appointed this home not only from the standpoint of staging, but from the standpoint of how we decided to finish it with things that they're gonna like. In the pictures, you're gonna notice bright blue colors. Those are really popular nowadays. You're gonna notice a yellow front door, super popular. Not only that, you're gonna see things like this behind me. Book bags, just cute little things. People that live in a home now with kids, they're worried about a mess and they're worried about where do I put stuff, where do I put the book bags? What we do is we overcome that with little accent features like this. It's different than what's in the marketplace, but it really appeals to the buyer that's gonna be buying this particular home. So that's the way that we not only stage it, but it's that way all the way throughout the entire process. And that's how we start in the very beginning and get to the end, but we have a vision in mind and the vision is not what I want in my home or what you want in yours, it's what the person who's buying it wants in their home. Okay, so now we're in the owner's bedroom. We talked about the other day, about 72 hours ago, the importance of an owner's suite, okay? We've done a few things. Downstairs, we talked about letting people mentally move in. Well, we've done that. We've put in some furniture. We've situated it in front of some windows that gives it a light, airy, open feel. Not only that, behind me, you can see the bathroom. Again, this is not a home that I'm gonna move into or you're gonna move into, but the buyer that moves into this home is gonna want a high-end luxury bath. We gave them a separate soaking tub, which is very much popular in this particular marketplace. We gave them two vanities, and then we've accentuated everything with design features that we talked about through staging. Not terribly expensive, but really impactful. So what you can see now, before the market is gonna to get to this home, is the thought process that we use. And what we want to appeal to is the type of buyer. This buyer, as I described downstairs in front of the, um, the little book bag rack, likes the bright colors. They are interested in fresh, airy, new. That is what we've provided. Everything that we have provided in this house is with the mindset of who is gonna be looking at this house and what are they gonna want, and that's what we're giving them here. Okay, so now we're down in the basement. And we talked about this the other day, it was still a mess. Now, frankly, it's still not 100% ready because this is the dress rehearsal. We're not on the market until midday tomorrow. In between now and then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the white paper up, we're gonna get another coat of paint in here, and it's gonna look and smell and feel even better than it does now. Compared to three days ago, it's a huge you know, light year jump, but between now and tomorrow when we go live, we're gonna also make some improvements. The thought down here, if I mentioned it to you before, is that laundry is a place where someone is spending a lot of time, right? And nowadays, laundry upstairs is kind of the focal point because it's on the living level, it's current. When you build old houses or you re renovate old houses, the problem that you deal with in a lot of instances is you gotta work with what's already in place. So for us, what we've gotta work with is the laundry's down here, we didn't really have room for it upstairs. So it is what it is. We've made this space as nice as humanly possible. We've painted it a fun color that goes with the theme of the rest of the house. We're gonna stage it with some pop features, and when I bring you back, you'll really see it finished, and you can see the difference. It's inviting, it's fun, and we're gonna make it like a craft room and laundry, so it's not just one place where you have to go do the torturous task of laundry. So, we'll show you a little bit more, but that's the logic and the thinking. And again, it's not for me, it's not for you, it's for the person that's gonna buy this home. Okay, so now we're outside and we're on the porch again. What we talked about last time was the fun colors and all that. You can still see it in the pictures and you can see it while I'm standing here. But the other thing we've done is we've staged it. Now there's two separate sets of staging. There is a little table dinette area, and then over there there's just a lounging area. The reason for that is with a home, you wanna show possibility. Now they may stage it differently. They have different pieces of furniture, but what you wanna show is possibility. If this was just an open porch, it would look cool. It would help stand out because not everybody has a porch. 
But if you put the staging in place, what ends up happening is you can show people what's possible. Now there's two separate living spaces on this porch. It was done by design. If your family is small, there's tons of room. If your family is large, well guess what? There's still plenty of room to do multiple things. You can have a dinner here, and then you can sit over here, read a book, or do something fun in the spring, summer, and fall. That is what we want to appeal to, is show people the possibilities that they have in front of them by simply moving into this home. And that's what the staging is all about. All right, so in conclusion, for this particular home, we're one day before market. We look really good. We're almost 100% ready. Tomorrow, what we're gonna do is a little bit more punch out, a little bit today and tomorrow, and tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., it's getting cleaned. 10 o'clock, the stager comes back, gives it one more once over to make sure everything's in exactly the right place, and this goes live on the market at 11. We have an open house on Sunday, and I'll be back probably in about three to four days to just tell you exactly what happened. My guess is we're gonna get multiple offers, we're gonna get a lot of traffic through here, and hopefully I'll have a good fun story to tell you in a couple of days. All right, so till then, Frank Hava, Experienced Investor. I'll see you soon.